The NBA Finals. It's every professional basketball player's dream to one day play on this stage, but only a few have reached this mountaintop. In fact, in the NBA's 75 year existence, only 912 players have logged a second or more of playing time in the finals. That's just about 18% of players in league history. And here is every single one of them. This took long. Now here they are, graphed against minutes logged in the NBA Finals. Majority are in this area. Making a Finals is hard. Most only make one, two if they're lucky. Then the Dynasty players, the elite of the elite, are here. Here's Steph Curry, Kobe just edging out Jordan, and Jerry West at the top. Oh, and here's Bill Russell, leading the pack from the next closest by almost 1,000 minutes. That's 12 NBA Finals logged in there, with 70 games played, averaging roughly 45 minutes in those contests. He also brought home a record 11 rings. <laughs> Russell was so often on the fortunate side of history. Others are not so lucky, caught in misfortunate events and dynasty runs. You can look no further than LeBron. 10 Finals appearances with 6 losses. That's hefty. But the record for the most losses in the finals is held by Jerry West, reaching 9 NBA Finals and losing 8 of them. But at least West came out with a ring. Elgin Baylor holds a record for the most number of finals appearances without winning a ring, losing all 7 of his final stints. It's not all blues for Baylor. After 60 years, he still holds a record for the most number of points scored in the NBA Finals, at 61. Only 6 have even posted 50 or higher, and only Baylor is at the 60 point club. Some records have stood the test of time, while others are being constantly broken. Steph Curry opened the 2022 NBA Finals like this. First three, three lows. they leave Curry all alone, and then behind the screen, a bunch of shooters and scorers. Williams looks at that, took the screen, oh they lost him again. Around the quarter screen. Setting the record for the most number of threes in a quarter in an NBA Finals game. In fact, every time Curry hits a three in the Finals, it's a record. Now making an NBA Finals is no easy feat. Some spend their whole career chasing it, but are never able to reach it, while others go through years of playoff series to finally make one. It took Shaq 20 games for his first finals. As you go down the list, you see players like LeBron, Curry, roughly taking 30, Jordan and Giannis close to 60, and CP at 123. And here's Al Horford, having played 141 games, which is the most number of games played without touching an NBA Finals. To put that into context, Bill Russell won 9 rings in the time Horford was able to get to 1 NBA Finals. Now, another member of the Celtics roster also put their name down in history. This is Luke Cornett. He barely played for the Celtics this season and was able to get some garbage minutes in the Finals. It helped preserve one of the longest streaks in Finals history. Since the start of the league, every single NBA Finals has featured a player who was a member of the New York Knicks at some point in their career. But to think, this team that has been the laughing stock of the NBA for the past two decades has consistently had players who made the NBA Finals while they struggled to make the playoffs is crazy to me. But one thing the Knicks should be happy about is they are the only team in NBA history to make the Finals as an 8 seed, one of the greatest Cinderella stories in sports history. They did fall short ultimately losing to the Spurs, but it was great to watch. A team that didn't fall short were the 95 Rockets. They are the only team that claimed the title as a 6 seed, and on their route, they beat in succession a 60 win Utah Jazz team, a 59 win Phoenix Suns team, a 62 win San Antonio Spurs team, and a 57 win Orlando Magic team. All without home court advantage. No championship team in NBA history has been 4 teams with that collected win total, ever. This team had the greatest championship run in NBA history, and I'll fight on every hill arguing that. Now if you look here, you may recognize who this is. That's Robert Horry. 
or others know him as Big Shot Bob, coined for his big shots in the postseason. He won two rings with these Rockets, and three with the Lakers, and two with the Spurs. This makes him the only player in history to win multiple championships with three different teams. This is a very impressive stat, but a very specific stat. Players may have not won multiple with three different teams, but have won rings with three different teams before. But what no one has ever done to the Lakers 2020 title was win three finals MVPs with three different teams. This is greatness personified. What we are looking at right now is every NBA player grafted against the number of points they average in the finals. Nothing out of the ordinary sticks out here. The greats all put up absurd amounts of points on the biggest stage. What's more interesting is down here. Will Chamberlain only averaged 18.6 points in the finals. This is the same man who averaged 30 for his career, 50 in a season, and scored 100 in a game. So averaging just 18.6 for Wilt's standards is an absurd stat. LeBron James is arguably the GOAT, and he has done some flat out remarkable things in this postseason career. He led the league in playoff points, playoff games played, and finals points. I mean, he has 9 straight finals appearances, 10 in total, which includes some of the best scoring performances. But I lied to you, that's not LeBron James, that is. This is Mr. West, the logo, having totaled over 1600 points in the finals. It's no wonder he was the only ever player to win finals MVP on the losing team. You know what you just watched right now? That was a buzzer beater shot from Game 1 of the 1997 NBA Finals. It was also the last time a buzzer beater happened in the NBA Finals. It's been 25 years since it last happened. A large number of us have never got to see one in real time in the Finals. The Bulls would go on to win that series, Jordan won his 5th ring, but also Parrish won a ring, giving him the title of the oldest player to ever win a ring, at 43. On the opposite side of the spectrum is Darko Milicic, the second overall pick of the 03 draft. Darko was just 18 at the time and was drafted to the Pistons, who were contending for a title. He didn't contribute much for the team, as in the playoffs he averaged just 0.1 points to their route to a title. But his name though will forever be etched in finals history, as the youngest player to win an NBA championship at 18 years and 361 days. This is a feat that will likely stand the test of time, unless the league makes a change to let players come straight from high school. You may have noticed during these playoffs, Draymond has gotten into a war of words with multiple people, and one of those people is Cedric Maxwell. Many don't know Maxwell, but he's a former Finals MVP. In fact, he's the only ever Finals MVP to not ever be selected as an All-Star in his career. Yes, even Iguodala has one. That's Gary Payton II. He and his father are now in the special list of father-son championship duo. And believe it or not, there have only been four in history. The Waltons, the Berries, the Gulkas, and his teammate, the Thompsons. Now for some pointless stats that serve no purpose except to flex on your friends. The average age of a finalist is 27 years. From the beginning of finals history to Game 3 of the 2022 NBA Finals, 87,050 points have been scored. 17,851 assists have been recorded, and 23,414 rebounds have been recorded. This is a chart showing every NBA Finals series. According to the data, we are most likely to see a 6 game series in the Finals. Little over 40% of all NBA Finals series end in 6 game, then followed by 5 and 7 game series, and lastly, and thankfully, we don't see sweeps often. This is Earn Your Ranks, where we only talk about ball, signing off. Ow!